Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, and welcome if you are new here. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of an experiment. We're going to be looking at how to extend the life of acrylic paint. Um, if you've ever used acrylic paint, you'll know that it dries very quickly, and sometimes that can be a little bit frustrating. And so we're going to try a few different um, fluids today and see the differences between them, and hopefully you can figure out which one uh, you like best and will help you with your work the most. Um, so pure acrylic paint, um, it has m three main ingredients. It has the pigment, um, it has a binder, and it has water. So depending on the quality and usually the cost, um, it'll determine exactly how much of each is in there. Usually the more expensive, the more pigment um, you have in there, the less expensive, the more water there is. So today we're just going to be using a cadmium red medium hue. It's a Grumbache, um Academy Acrylic. Um, it's kind of in that middle ground there. It's not really student quality, but it's also not professional quality. I thought this would be a good middle ground to use for a test and a nice red color so we can really see on this white canvas the different um, results that we get. For our test, as you can see here, we're going to do just one streak of paint where we don't put anything on it. We're going to do one with some water. We're going to do one with some golden um, retarder fluid. And this is an additive for slowing the drying time of acrylic paints and mediums, if you've never used it before. We're also going to use a golden gl a gloss a glazing liquid. And this is a slow drying extender for acrylic colors. And the last, we're going to use a golden soft gel, also gloss. So those are the four, or I guess five different rows. We're going to have four different things we're going to be adding. And the two main things that we're going to be looking at here is how long each can extend the drying time of the acrylic paint um, and how each of them affect the workability of the paint. And what I mean by that is once it's on the canvas, does it stay um, does it stay wet? Are you able to, you know, then blend with it after? I'm not going to be doing a lot of blending, but we're just going to see if it stays dry on our canvas, or sorry, stays dry, stays wet on our canvas here. Um, so it would have the potential to do some blending or other type of work like that. All right, so let's put a little bit down here. I'm going to try to do the same amount of each. Let me make sure my palette here is clear of any other flakes or dust. So I'm, I'm going to do just five different, five different bubbles here. Okay, so there's about the same amount of each there. I know it's not perfect. And all we're going to do to start is just take a little bit on our brush and we will um, just have nothing in it. We're just going to get a little bit on our brush here. Get it across the whole brush. And we will just do a streak down the middle here, or down, yeah, we'll go down the side just in case we want to do anything in the middle. Now we have the space. Let's get a little bit more on this brush. All right, so that is it with nothing. Ah, oh, what the heck. We have so much space. Let's take a little bit more to this. Okay, that's it with nothing. We'll leave it at that. If we end up using this bottom space, that'll be great. Now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of water. I'm going to use a little uh, syringe here and I'm going to try to use the same amount of each of these things here as we go to make it as, um, what's the word? I even teach science and I can't remember the word. Just make it as, as good as possible so it's not different amounts of everything. So I'm going to take this here, we're going to add There's eight drops of water there. 
<laughs> I guess that'll be our that'll be our um, benchmark. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to take a palette knife here, and I am going to slide this over, and we are going to mix this in. Instantly, you can see here. Maybe you can't see as well on the camera, but you can see it's really. Um, you could almost see the paint coming apart. <laughs> If you add too much water to acrylic paint, then it will, um, the binder starts to separate from the pigment, and you don't want that. I did use quite a bit of water there. I mean, that was eight drops. Um, some people will just spray a mist over their, um, over their paint as they're working with it to help extend the life uh, while it's on the, on the palette there, and that's fine. Okay, I'm going to, I'm just going to wipe off the brush. It doesn't really need to be wiped off because there's nothing else in it, just the regular paint. But I don't want there to be a lot of the regular paint left in there. Okay, let's take about that same amount on our brush here. Go to the water. And I took a bit more for the other one, so we may as well do that here too. All right, so what you can see here is it definitely thins it out and allows me to spread it a lot further down. Um, and so that's that's kind of nice. Um, it's definitely going to stay wet longer on there. And now we're just going to leave that there um, to, to dry. We'll test it in a few minutes here. We're at the just about the seven-minute mark here. That's a good time for that. I'm just going to rinse this brush off, get the water out of it, and dry it off nicely so we don't have any water left in there um, for our next, next trial. Okay, now we're going to use the golden retarder fluid. I'm going to try to do eight drops again, just like we did with the other one. Oh, it kind of comes out flowing. I'll do the about the equivalent amount. There we go. That's about what the eight drops looked like of the water. I'm going to grab another palette knife here and we will mix this together. We'll slide this in. One thing that you can note already is with the water mixed with the acrylic paint, um, it made it flow a lot on the canvas, sorry, on the palette. But with this retarder fluid, it is keeping its shape a little bit more. Um, it's not it's not being quite so fluid. Okay, that is mixed in there. Let's grab our paintbrush, put some on the end here, and do a nice little streak down the middle. a little bit more all right overall um, it's looking pretty similar to the water um, I can see a few spots I don't know if you're able to see it um, but the water uh, paint here is thinner in a few spots where the paint with the retarder fluid doesn't look as thin um, yeah, that's, that's what I've noticed just off the first initial thoughts there. We're going to test the drawing here in just a minute. Now we're at the nine minute mark. So two minutes later, that's a good, a good check for that. Okay. I'm going to wash this one off. Make sure there's none of that retarder fluid left in there. Okay, now I'm going to grab some of this gloss glazing liquid. Try to do about the same amount here. It's about that much of every other one. Get yet another palette knife here. And instantly I can see just the look of the paint. It does look a little bit lighter because if you could see that gloss glazing liquid um, was a little bit almost creamy. It wasn't uh, 
wasn't like water or the retarder fluid there. Okay. And it is also a little bit more liquid too. It's holding its shape a bit better than the water one, um, but not quite like the retarder one. So let's get a little bit of that onto our brush. That's about the same amount that we had for the other ones for the first stroke. Get a little bit more. All right, so we can see here that it doesn't seem to spread quite as nicely as with the water or the retarder. Um, did I get a little bit more? I don't remember if I did. Um, the other one seemed to spread a little bit nicer. I'm just going to lift this up and look at it here. Um, but the, the sense of thickness seems okay. Um, it is a glazing liquid, and so if you are doing this over other colors that aren't white, it is going to be a little bit thinner um, because that's that's more of what it's meant for, um, being a glazing uh, liquid there. I'm just going to take a break here before we do the soft gel and just do a finger test on the nothing. Nothing's completely dry. That, sorry, that's from before. <laughs> Let me rub that off so that doesn't throw us off any others. There you go. Nothing's completely dry. The water one, other than the ridge there, um, the water's completely dry. So that's just been, what, about four minutes now? Coming up on five, I guess. The retarder's been just three minutes. Uh, I will do a little finger test here. It's giving me a full fingerprint. So it is still, um, even the shallow parts at the bottom are still wet after three minutes. Okay, I'm going to rinse this brush off and we'll dry it off and now our last one that we're going to test is our soft gel there's many different types of gels you can get there's um, thicker ones for a lot more texture um, I like the soft one just because it gives it gives uh, some thinner paints a little bit more texture but it isn't too too much but I've noticed that when I've used this in the past that it does also um, um, allow me to work more with the paints so there's about the same amount there I'm just scraping that off so I don't have a ton of excess I've had this this jar for a long time it's almost gone and we will um, mix this together. Let me scrape off a little bit more of that. There we go. That's better. Okay, let's bring this over here and scrape this together. Obviously the texture of this one is going to be um, thicker than the others because that's what the gel does. Oh, and the glazing liquid, if we didn't know it, it was 11 minutes when we finished putting that one on there. Okay, there's that one. Grab our paintbrush. And we'll put some down here on the soft gel. So as you can see, it's more like the pure paint by itself because it is um, uh, making it thicker so it's not spreading as far. It's there to add more texture than anything. I will take a little bit more here and we will spread that down. So that is as expected. Um, now we will just leave that there. We're at the 1430 mark and we will see how it goes for um, drying. So let's go back here, the retarder fluid, do a finger test. It's still giving me some fingerprint, not as much as before, but it still is. Um, that's at the 15 minute mark, so that's been, um, what has that been? Six more minutes on there. Glazing liquid, 
definitely giving me a full fingerprint there still because that's only been four minutes and our soft gel we just put on but the water is completely dry even the ridges that were there are completely dry nothing's still obviously dry and the retarder still going good you can see on our palette here the one with water is still wet Oh, well, they're all still wet. Even the even the regular paint is still wet because it is in a clump. Um, just a few thoughts that I've noticed about working with these as I've gone through. Um, I did a little experiment with this last night and then came back to my palette this morning. And uh, actually, it was late morning. And this, uh, yeah, so it had been over 12 hours. And the water, the paint with the water in it was completely dry. Obviously, the, the nothing was completely dry, even though there was a little... Um, mound you could say the retarder however the top was still sticky and underneath it was still um it was still workable it was still wet i could have painted with it this morning um and that goes the same for the glazing liquid i didn't use the soft gel last night so i don't um i don't know exactly for that one but just from my experience in the past it will last um longer on your on your palette um than water um but not necessarily as long as the retarder or even the glazing liquid. Okay, we are at the 1630 mark, so that's been two minutes. Um, let's check this soft gel. The low parts are a little bit sticky, a little bit wet, not fully. The ridges are still very well, um, very wet. And that's been two and a half minutes. And if you've worked with acrylic before, if you can have something stay wet on your canvas for two and a half minutes, that's actually not that bad. Um, if we go down to the bottom here, it's a little bit sticky, but it's barely coming off onto my finger. You can barely even see it there. All right, let's go back to the retarder here. Make sure my finger is I'm dry there. It's still giving me paint. That's been nine minutes, no, sorry, eight minutes. Make sure I get my math right. And if we do the glazing liquid, which has been six and a half minutes now, um, it's sticky, but it's not really coming off anymore. Just in the ridge parts where there was some paint, paint built up, is it still coming off? So we can already tell that in terms of how long can each extend the drying time that your retarder is the best your glazing liquid is second it's close between your water and your soft gel it looks like the soft gel is going to win though because that's really wet on the ridges there i know it's only been a few minutes now but even the water wasn't that wet if you're painting thick and you're using the soft gel or any other type of gel then it's going to stay um stay workable and stay wet longer on your on your palette and on your canvas than the water water is obviously next and then your nothing um, is is the last there so just from from my experience you might have different experience and that's fine i would recommend using the retarder fluid um, for the little bottle it seems like a small bottle but it really goes a long way you don't need to use a lot to really in, increase that lifetime um, I had first gotten this gloss glazing liquid. Um, I use it every once in a while, but I reach more for the retarder fluid than I do for this. And then if you like to add texture and different things like that, and you're using gels, that's going to help you increase um, your time as well. I would recommend all of those um, over water, to be honest, just because water, it literally waters down the paint. And if you use too much, it can you know, it can um, separate the binders from the pigment and it just, it gives the overall look, um, again, unless you're going for that type of look, but to me it just makes, it makes your paints look cheaper than what they actually are or could be. And yeah, that's, that's kind of my review here. Let's do one last check here. So the retarder fluid still giving me still giving me some red lines. We're reaching, well, we're over 10 minutes now obviously just the thicker spots the top is still sticky in the other spots though it's not giving me anything on my fingers the glazing liquid it's sticky but nothing's coming off and our soft gel just the just where that's built up so if you're painting thick with soft soft gel that's been 
a good number of minutes now and that's still wet that you could still work with that all right so it has been an hour since i started um, with these paints here so some of them have been you know about 45 minutes to an hour i just wanted to show you the differences in um, in what they are now so everything on this is dry everything on the canvas is dry but on our palette we still have some wet paint so this was our regular here if i take some of the regular that's all i've got there all the rest of it is dry we got nothing there so i'm just going to rinse that off i don't want there to be water added to any of these Okay, our next one here is our water. If I take some of this here, it's, some of it still is wet, there is some that's dried. And if I go down here, not bad actually still. A lot of it's dried, but some of it's still available to use. And it looks relatively similar. dry this off now if we go to the retarder fluid <laughs> fluid yeah fluid is fluid I guess make sure that's dry this is actually still very nice you can see here well hopefully you can see it there still very workable in that and if we bring this down get some more on my brush there there's a lot of it there to be used Still even more I can I can use. So that's looking good. Now if we use the glazing liquid one next, um, quite a bit of that is actually dried up, um, similar to the water. And that's about all we got left um, of that. Okay. Dry that off nicely. And our last one is the soft gel here. And if we look at this, um, the outer layer was dry. I've got a little piece there. Um, but the inside layer of that was still was still good. So interesting results after about an hour there. You can see that the water um, the part that had water on there was still still usable. You can see that it is a bit thinner though. Um, maybe you can't see with the contrast there, but um, I can see that it is a bit thinner now than it even was before for what was left. The retarder fluid is almost the same. Um, yeah, it looks very similar. And it's still, still wet there. The glazing liquid um, lost some of it there. It, it dried more... Um, quickly than and then some of the other ones and same with the soft gel um, with any of these if you're using you know a thicker glob of paint then obviously they will last longer the soft gel allows you to really have it up in a, in a bunch which is nice um, compared to the glazing liquid um, and especially the water um, yeah so looking at this now after after an hour on your palette your best bet is still the retarder. Um, then actually, the uh, on the palette, the water is doing pretty good. And then our soft gel and our glazing liquid are pretty similar to each other, depending on if you have them bunched up or not. And that's, that's that. So, yeah, if you have any other ways that you 
um, extend the life of your acrylic paints that you would like to share, please share in the comments below. And all of us would appreciate that. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next, next one. And we will see you next time on Brian Sloan Artist.